Hello everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry by Sadhanwar. What we are going to discuss today guys, we are going to talk about a past paper question that is from HUA A-level chemistry and the topic is amount of substance. So I will also share the link of this question paper in the comment section in the description box. So what I going to do now, I will explain this question. This is a two marks question, but a bit challenging question. But what we do, we'll try to make it easy. Let's see. One, two, three. Reaction vessel. Let me make a good reaction vessel. Imagine, guys, this is the reaction vessel. In that reaction vessel, U point, O point, O, O, one, O mole of this compound, O point, O, O, one, O mole of C, eight, H. When you're going to put O point O two O O mole of oxygen. These two gases react together. As a product, you will be getting carbon dioxide and water. What they ask in the question is calculate the amount in moles of a gas in the flask after the reaction has finished. So when the reaction has finished, remember carbon dioxide gas is also produced. So you need to calculate its amount. And you need to determine the amount of the reactant, which leftover reactant, because reactant is also in the form of gases. So the reactant, which leftover, we need to determine its amount, its value as well. So let's start. First, we need to make sure among these, between these two reactants, which one is the limiting reactant. For the sake of simplicity, let me tell you, ox when oxygen reacts with hydrocarbon, usually oxygen is an excess reagent while the other one is a limiting reagent. So I am I am supposing here, not supposing, but exactly C8H18 is a limiting reagent here. So it means the amount of carbon dioxide will depend upon limiting reagent. So let me compare that limiting reagent, limiting reactant with the amount of carbon dioxide so that I can calculate the amount of carbon dioxide produced. C8H18. Come to the balanced chemical equation, guys. You can see here one mole C C8H18 will react with 8 mole CO2. But in the question, they have given you 0.0010 mole of C8H18. So mole of carbon dioxide should be 8 times 0.0010. So when I multiply 0.0010 with 8, what I will be getting is 8 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So at the end of reaction, this is the moles of carbon dioxide which produce. Write down in your notebook. Now comes to the that it comes to this point that we have to determine the um, leftover amount of the reagent. So oxygen is excess reactant. So definitely its amount will be leftover. So to find that leftover amount of reactant. I need to figure out how much oxygen completely, genuinely, exactly react with C8H18. So C8H18 times, uh, versus not times, oxygen. According to balanced chemical equation, guys, we can see 1 mole C8H18 going to react with 12.5 mole O2. But in the question, they have given us 0.0010 mole of C8H18. So mole of oxygen should be 12.5 times 0.0010. So 12.5 times 0.0010. This is 0.0125. This is the mole of oxygen which genuinely completely react with C8H18, we can say this is the mole of oxygen which consumed in that reaction. So to find out the leftover amount of oxygen, come to this value. This is the value. This is the amount of oxygen, original amount of oxygen, which we put in the reaction was. So the amount of oxygen which used, just subtract this amount of oxygen. 0.0125 mole is the amount of oxygen that is used. This is the used amount of oxygen. This is the original original amount of oxygen, when I subtract the used amount of oxygen from the original amount of oxygen, what I will be getting, guys, I will be getting the amount of oxygen that consumed completely 
no, sorry, that leftover amount, 7.5 times 10 raised to power minus 3. This is the leftover amount of oxygen. So that was original amount of oxygen. Now the leftover amount of oxygen is 7.5 times 10 raised to power minus 3, while this C8H18 is completely consumed and carbon dioxide is produced and the amount of carbon dioxide produced is this one eight times 10 raised to power minus three. So what you what you need to do now, just add this value of carbon dioxide gas with the leftover value of oxygen gas, you will get the total moles of oxygen in the flask after the reaction. So add 7.5 times 10 raised to power minus three plus eight times 10 raised to power minus three, add these two values guys. 8 times 10 raised to power minus 3. When I added these two values, I will be getting 0 0.0155. This is the final answer. So I need your feedback, comment. Don't hesitate to contact me for one-on-one -on -one coaching lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy.